welcome back to my channel sugar mama tv now this video is actually a subscriber request video which is one of many reasons why you need to subscribe to my channel so if you haven't already please make sure you do now the other day i put on insta stories who would like another makeup video and the votes were like 85 percent yes and also you've been coincidentally also asking me for a really long time a video on my favorite makeup so I thought I would combine these two ideas together and make this video for you now the makeup look that I'm creating is a really natural quick easy everyday look and it's a look that you can create in seven minutes or less my mornings are crazy and I don't like to wear a whole pile of makeup I want to keep it quick easy and fresh I invest in time-saving strategies and techniques so if you look into my makeup cupboard, it's all really neatly organized. I have my blushes open and ready to go, so they're quick, easy to use and access. I also have my makeup brushes grouped into two different sections. One being um, eyes and like blending, the other one being like face and contouring. I have my foundations and primers together, I have my lips together, and then I have all my other little knickknacks together. It's really quick, easy to apply, and I don't let it take up too much space now as I said this face can be created in seven minutes or less I will try and keep to seven minutes and I'm about to set my timer but obviously as I'm talking it probably will go over seven minutes but I've actually practiced this a few times and it can be done in seven minutes or less all right I have nothing on my face I literally have nothing first of all I'm gonna put a sunscreen on this is my favorite sunscreen Latan 50 plus coconut spray it is so important to protect your skin it's worth investing in your skin because it will pay off over the long run. Next, being a fresh, easy, everyday look, um, I will be using tinted moisturizer. When I'm filming, I don't use a tinted moisturizer, but um, I will definitely be applying a primer because as I've worked out, I've been told numerous times, use a primer and your makeup will last all day. You do not need to reapply. And as I said, I'm busy during the day. I don't have time to touch up my makeup. So, all right, I'm just gonna quickly create I'm gonna quickly let that dry now on that subject of time-saving techniques um, this is fantastic it's like a little palette from coincidentally Mac and uh, I used to always put my foundation or tinted moisturizer on the back of my hand after I finished doing my makeup I would then find like my towels and my clothes were getting stained by makeup being smeared this stops me from doing that. I just go to this and it makes it also really easy to mix up colors and blend colors. So definitely worth investing in that. I um, absolutely love this. It's a MAC Mineralized Time Check Lotion. Now you'll notice I'm using quite a lot of MAC in this video, but not all MAC. And that is because recently I've been getting a few lessons there um, at my local store to show me how to create different looks for my videos and for going on to functions. Um, because it's one area I really want to one of my goals this year is actually to be better at applying my makeup I'm now going to um, use a tinted moisturizer. I said I'm not filming today. I can keep it nice light and easy I'm using the NARS tinted moisturizer, which I love and I'm squeezing it onto my little palette and I'm going to use one of these brushes and One little technique I was told through getting a lesson is to dab the makeup don't like in the past I used to do this which is good but it doesn't create the same look so they recommended actually dabbing the makeup on and I'm not using a large amount of products because I just um, I, it's it's a public holiday and I don't want a full face of makeup I will feel a little bit silly looking like with a full face of makeup and my gym gear on now I like to keep my makeup really organized all the time so as I go I like to put things back where they belong so when I'm actually finished I can quickly walk out the door and go I'm gonna grab a few brushes okay so this I'm obsessed with it's like a primer for the eye but it's such a gorgeous base and you can actually wear this by yourself I actually regularly wear this by itself I might even do it for this video so it is the Mac Indian wood pro long paint pot it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna use the mirror so I can get up close now this makes blending a lot easier but it also means my eyeshadow lasts all day and all night long and what I think I like the most about this is it's actually really easy to blend but you can see that is just really nice and natural and 
literally if I was having a no makeup or barely any makeup day I put on some mascara and just leave it like that but I want to just do a little bit more of a stronger look today this color I was showing I was like mm, like trying to be really polite to the person showing me this but then when they put it on my eyelids it looked so beautiful and so amazing and the tip she taught me was to do like a very soft circular motion in the corners of each eye now when I do my eye makeup I normally just focus on one eye makeup and nail it and then go to the next eye and it's just looks so uneven and definitely not symmetrical so what she said was whatever you do to one eye immediately do it to the next and don't go on to any other further steps until you've completed it on the, on the eye and that is also really helping me get better with blending my eyeshadows but I will do this in the mirror because I'm still very much a beginner all right see very natural now this is beautiful it's um just a little i guess add a little shimmer or sh um, lightness to the corner of the eyes and over the actual eyelids this mascara i absolutely love it's the mac extended play lash and it's just such a neat clean easy to use brush you can really get in deep without like poking yourself in the eye and I love the look. The one thing that really disappoints me about this is it only comes in black. Now another trick that I was taught was I used to just like blink into my mascara and push up. But when I had um, one of many lessons, it said not to do that because when you're putting eyeshadow on, a lot of the eyeshadow powder drops on to your eyelashes. So you want to go over the top of them first before you then push them up. Now I naturally have really long eyelashes and I've already like opened my eyes and caught on little bits of like um, mascara on the top of my eyeshadow and I don't want it to ruin what I've created so far. I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and I'm going to use um, my Mecca Cosmetic, Cosmetica um, Micella, what do I think is how you pronounce it, with a cotton stick and I will clean any mess. Now, whilst my mascara is drying, I'm going to do my blush and bronzer and use that to contour and then a natural lip and then I'm done. Now to do contouring, I actually have no idea. I haven't been taught that yet. But what I tend to do at home is I just tilt my face to the side and I let the natural light tell me where my contours is. Now next is my blush. Now, this was actually given to me. It's the Warm Soul Mineral Blondes Blush um, by MAC. <clears throat> and it is so beautiful. I actually carry this in my makeup purse um, every day. And not that I do really touch up my makeup, but if I have to, this always comes up. Now on that note of saving time, I like to clean my brushes with Rocco. It is actually so much fun for him because he watches all the color like he explode out of the brushes. And we get to like get all dirty and colors go everywhere and all the soaps and suds. So it's kind of like a fun little activity to do with your kids if you need to clean your makeup brushes, but a time for. And of course, my number one numero uno lipstick. This is the Chantecai in Daphne. I love this because it's so quick and easy. It's so close to my natural color so I can put it on in a hurry and not need to worry about if I've gone off course. Now this is my seven minute like everyday makeup. This is pretty much what I would wear on an everyday um, like meeting or going to work or just like hanging out with Rocco. It is quick, easy to apply and I actually don't feel like I'm wearing heaps of makeup and I promise you it actually does not take very long to do. Now if I wanted to like put on a little bit more, which I will show you in a second, there are a couple of extra things I could do to just make take this to I guess to the next level. Number one, I would use a, an eyebrow pencil. Now I have really naturally thick bushy eyebrows. My dad has like jet black thick hair. I don't know how I turned out blondish. Um, and this is fantastic for quickly doing it. Now another trick I was taught is to go backwards against the hair, light feathering movements this way and this way and then tidy up the part here and then flick up. But also to use a spiral, I think it's called, to push the eyebrows up for a really natural look. So I'm gonna really quickly do that. Now today in Sydney is an incredibly humid day. I'm literally standing here sweating. I can feel like sweat running down me. So if it looks very shiny, it is very shiny. That's because I am sweating. So I will fix all this up with a powder to show you the last, the, like the final result. Next thing is to open up my eyes more is I would go into the, into the rim with a nice light, um, I guess, peachy nude color. 
Now, as I said, if I wanted to make this makeup look a little bit deeper for a stronger look, I would add more to my eyes. And that would mean using an eyeliner and also getting a really fine brush and taking some of that eyeshadow under my lash line just up to where the iris sits. So I'll quickly do that. And I'm going to quickly blend it so it's really soft and natural. All right. So that is my, pretty much my eyes done. I'm going to grab that um, foundation tinted moisturizer brush and just use any of that to sweep away any excess products that's fallen under my cheeks uh, or eyes. And then the second last thing for that deeper look is to use an illuminator. And I, I, this is such a cute little brush, but just for under the eyes. And I like to do it there as well. But weirdly, I like to do it there. I'm just going to set this with a um, powder because I'm sweating so much. That is it. That is pretty much my everyday makeup look with my favorite products. I will link all the products in the description box below. But as I said, I don't really like to wear a huge amount of makeup. This does not feel like a large amount of makeup. And as I said, I have actually taken it one step further to show you guys, you know, the, I guess the extent of what you can do. Now I will go back to financial vlogs because that's what I think I'm specialized in because I'm definitely not a makeup blogger, nor do I ever want to. But as I said, this was a subscriber request. I hope everyone's having a great week. As I said, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.